Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Um, in today's video I'm going to be a bit more serious. It's a new concept that I wanted to try out here on my channel. And that's why there's been a lack of videos as well. I'm going to try to do a serious video every, every Sunday. So I'm going to call it Serious Sundays. It's gonna be very simple, more of a chat between me and whoever watching this. Um, and I'm going to talk about things that I've been through. Um, and that's basically it. So today I'm going to talk about eating disorders and my experience with it. Sorry for being so tired, I literally just woke up and I have no idea how I look like it. very tired. It all started when I signed with this new agency about a year ago. Um, I think it was March 2014. And um, I was happy to be signed with an agency. I've been signed with different agencies but I was happy to be signed again so to say. And um, I had a meeting with them and they told me that I needed to be in certain in certain like have these certain measurements. Um basically they thought I was too big. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> um but that was the beginning of this whole too big or yeah, one of the to like like the start of the, the too big thing, where I started to hear that I was too big. Um, more than, than I had before. And that's why I made <laughs> this video. <laughs> oh, whatever. So, the agency told me you need to be in these measurements to be in the high fashion industry. You can be on the commercial side for the rest of your life and not care about measurements. But if you want to be um, in high fashion, which we believe that you can be, then you need to have these measurements. So, yeah, I was like, okay, but if they really believe in me, then I definitely should uh, like go for the high fashion. Pill. Do you want the blue pill or do you want the red pill? It was kind of that feeling. But I thought to myself, okay, like, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be too that hard to reach the measurements because they took my measurements and compared it, compared it, like, to. Like, they took my measurements and said how much I had to go um, before I was at the main goal measurements so i thought no well that would be easy and they thought they said yeah it's just gonna be you going to be training healthy it's nothing advanced and yeah just go for it basically so i started to um, lose weight basically uh, it all started off uh, pretty like pretty good it wasn't that i didn't feel bad about it and I felt healthy, I felt good, I didn't feel anything bad yet. But then I got really sick, um, just an ordinary, ordinary cold I guess, nothing special but I had a fever for about two weeks and being sick for two weeks made me lose maybe two or, two or three kilos and, um, I mean, that made me lose a lot of measurements quite fast and that was not a good way to go, but I, I mean, yeah, so it was just a weird coincidence of me trying to lose weight and, and being sick, so, because I didn't eat when I'm, I don't eat when I'm sick. So, after me being sick, I took this thing to extreme levels because it triggered me 
that I lost so much weight in so short of amount of time. So I started to only eat, like I, I don't downloaded this app that tells you how much calories you eat per day. And I set this goal on this app that I only could eat a thousand calories per day. So if I had an egg for breakfast, I wrote that in and this app would add that, add that to my daily a thousand calories so and yeah it's sick you guys I feel so confused when I'm talking about this because it's all coming to like it's like I realize now in this moment how bad it actually was it isn't before you it is you don't really realize it before you if you haven't talked out loud about it you don't realize how sick it is um so I by that time I lived at home and um, with my parents so my parents knew what my agency had told me but they were like because I'm I was 18 I was going to turn 19 and I mean they were like yeah it's you do whatever you do you <laughs> Um, but they were very concerned and very afraid, so this only eat a thousand calories per day didn't really work out for me <laughs> that good. <laughs> but yeah, they were very concerned because they wanted me to like eat healthy and exercise in a good way, not to not be like not starving, starving myself, starve myself, not starve myself. So yeah. My my parents are very supportive. They would never would would never let me disappear. So they were very like they had an eye on me <laughs> by leading. They always had because I've never been like a, I've never been so much into food, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know why, but like I always when growing up, I had a problem. Like it, growing up, I felt it was hard to finish a whole plate of food and yeah I got a little stomach that's why but I love food don't get me wrong <laughs> and then I moved to Stockholm and with not having a job moving to Stockholm I didn't had had a, like I didn't have money so I couldn't buy food and by not buying food I could lose weight. So stupid. My, by not having money or a job, I was like, well, this is great. Now I will lose weight without even thinking about it because I will not get enough food for the day. And by living by yourself, it's scary how easy it is because you have no one that keeps an eye on you. Um, and whenever my parents called, I was like, yeah, I'm going to eat this and it, like, I just lied. I mean, and yeah, you get, you, you find your, you find your ways to hide it and like not talk about it or like protect yourself. Um, so as soon as I reach the right measurements, the sooner I will get booked for model jobs so that's why I took this thing to extreme levels so there were stays in my apartment where I only ate apple a apple per day and then I could just ignore food for the rest of the day it wasn't like a problem for me I tricked my body into Believing that I didn't need food Which is quite crazy <laughs> and Yeah, so there was times where I was so depressed in this I Felt so bad by myself. I felt so bad about myself. I couldn't look myself in the mirror I thought I was so big and Yeah, like I got this anorectic thoughts I never developed 
anorexia, but I I had and I, I had and I still have this weird like thoughts about me. So whenever I see myself in the mirror or in a picture that someone took of me, it can make me feel so sick and so anxious and it's hard like now when I'm thinking of it it's just it's crazy what I actually did to my body for such a long time and but yeah uh, I didn't eat I was very depressed and I had two very intense panic attacks uh, if you ever experienced a panic attack, you know how terrible how terrible it can be. My first time I had my panic attack, my first panic attack, I like I was la I was I laid on the bathroom floor just shaking and crying and crying and it felt like I it felt like I lost the ability to breathe. And I just was shaking and didn't know who I would call. I wanted to call my parents, but it was like in the middle of the night. And I didn't want them to to know that how bad I felt because I was so destroyed. And yeah, it sucked. And here's the thing. They, they tell you that you need to lose measurements, like inches or centimeters or whatever you would like to call it no you will not lose weight you will lose measurements whenever you want to lose mesh whenever you want to lose measurements by eating healthy and start exercising you will surprise surprise lose weight so they're basically lying. They're like, no, 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 you will not lose weight. You will only lose measurements. It's, oh, yeah. And that what that is what makes me so furious about this thing. Oof. Anyway, so around March this year, I the bubble burst. It was when I was going to uh, agree. It was when I was going to Greece to build up my portfolio and I met these other models and they were like, some girls were in so bad shapes, like in like, they were so, so, so skinny and they had so weird mind, they have so, they had such a weird, such weird, they had so weird thoughts about everything like about this life as a model and how it was good for them to not eat and all that and it was like I got pers pers I got a bit of perspective like it was like I was watching myself talking because it was exactly the same thing I was going through but I couldn't really understand that I was going through the same thing so when I came back from Greece I was like whoa this is not for me not that a model thing is not for me but just this this whole this whole thing about I, I like modeling but I, I don't want to model if that means I need to destroy my body for nothing and maybe die on the journey to get there you know what I mean it's so finally the bubble burst and I was like what have I done to myself what year is it what is happening I think I went to McDonald's the same day and just ordered everything on the menu and it was nice to realize that by myself and not that I went into a into some like that I actually develop a severe 
eating disorder. I mean, it can go in so many ways and I'm happy that I realized it by myself that I was actually destroying my body. And yeah, so, and then I started eating and I was basically just ignoring my agency and then I, I quit my agency this summer when I posted the video about too big for the industry. And that was maybe, that was, yeah, that was the best thing that I could ever do. I have no, I have no like hatred against the people working on the agency. I really like the people there, but I could never live up to them. Like I could never live up to their goals for me. So I could never be that model they wanted me to be. So it was just easier to say goodbye and do my own thing. So yeah guys, um, hopefully I didn't ramble on about nothing, but yeah. Um, if you ever feel bad um, about yourself in any way, talk to someone. Maybe have the best relationship with your grandma or your friend or your mom or dad, your sister or just anyone. Just talk to someone because it's a serious, serious issue and you can't go around having all these crazy thoughts and just slowly destroying yourself. Um, be yourself. Don't let anyone else change who you are. Express yourself in any way possible and just be yourself and spread happiness. I know everyone has like this, oh it's Sunday, oh tomorrow is a new week, ugh, don't want to go to school or job or my job or whatever. But yes, let's, let's just... Let's just rock this week and just have an amazing week. I think with the right mind setting, you will, you will, you could go very far. <laughs> like if you're like, okay, this going, this is going to be like the best week ever, and then it's going to be the best week ever. It is what you make it. Yeah, I'm here if you want to talk, and if you feel bad in any way, act now and not too late. <sighs> Love yourself and just be. Be you. That's the best thing you can do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys. On I will see you guys next Sunday. Hey do.